Good morning. It's Wednesday, it's April 17th, and it's Andrew here on my own today. Uh, Elaine's going to take a well-deserved break. Uh, reason being, actually, is because of me. Uh, I'm off next week, so Elaine thought, you know what, now, if you're taking a week off, I just want a day. I just want a day to myself. So Elaine's off today. So, that being said, we've still got a really busy show coming up uh, this morning. €330 Euro is, worth, uh, is what Who's for Breakfast is worth. Uh, with thanks to Ash's own, it's called Black Pudding. So, if you fancy it, you're heading into Easter weekend, bank holiday on Monday, 330 quid sounds nice. So, we played it on the show this morning, and no, I'll have no clues, don't worry. Uh, and Elaine has also um, been told not to give any clues next week while I'm off. Uh, that came directly from the boss, so, ha 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 ha. Um, weather-wise today, well, today's not going to be bad at all. We're going to see generally cloudy for the most part dry, uh, temperatures of around 15 or 16 again, which doesn't sound bad. But the good news is, is that it's from tomorrow, Thursday and Friday and Saturday of this week will be really nice. Tomorrow in particular, we're going to see wall-to-wall sunshine and temperatures of 19 degrees tomorrow. So that doesn't sound bad at all. Uh, now, uh, on our Facebook Live video, as we normally do, um, we'll check out check in on what's happening on the front page of the papers this morning. We'll start with the Daily Mail. He says he's a nosy parker not a murderer. Patrick Quirk has been a nosy, uh, was being a nosy parker but not a murderer when he looked up information online about the disappearance of Bobby Ryan. His barrister told the Mr. Moonlight trial yesterday. Uh, I'm telling you guys, they could actually make a Netflix series out of this trial. Uh, and John Delaney is on the front page as well. Uh, Delaney still getting paid as FAI board steps down. And Hero Priest saved Crown of Thorns from Inferno. I was wondering about this. So with the Notre Dame fire uh, at, the, at the cathedral, Apparently what actually happened was, because obviously like the building is wrecked, we know that, but there was a lot of valuable and old stuff inside. And apparently what actually happened is the priest, as well as uh, firemen and police kind of formed a human chain and were literally passing stuff out to try and um, keep stuff from getting burnt. So uh, not everything got out, obviously, but some stuff did actually get destroyed. But they did get a lot out as far as I know, some of the really expensive paintings as well. Uh, the Times early edition this morning says Notre Dame saved just half an hour from collapse. Firefighters risked their lives to stop destruction of the tower. So the towers were apparently going to go only for the work of the firemen. And FEI's board expenses to form part of the investigation. So this is going to continue for a long while, I'd imagine. They're saying now that the FEI board will step down confirmed in uh, July at the next AGM. But I think that there could be an EGM before that, which means they might step down before. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, examiner, same story. Delaney still on payroll, could return. Ex-CEO is on gardening leave as entire FAI board will quit by July. And broadband plan would cost us €3 billion Euro, uh, over the next 25 years, apparently. Uh, the rollout of the national broadband plan would cost up to, uh, in the region of €3 billion. The Taoiseach said yesterday, Leo Ragger said the government needed to spend a little bit more time before it could bring a decision to Cabinet on the matter. €3 billion, quid, lads. Uh, that's also in the uh, examiner this morning. And the Irish Sun then says, Irish football in turmoil, shambolic. Uh, as in shambolic is what the sum has gone for. Entire board of FAI to resign. They failed to keep proper accounts, which uh, is the mind boggles. It's 2019 for such a big organisation to not do this. And the fight back of Notre Dame. Vital 30 minutes saves cathedral. Same story. Relics rescued by heroic priest and billionaires in, res uh, in restoration vow is also on the front page there. One of those Elaine mentioned was yesterday, the billionaire French businessman, was actually Selma Hayek's, the actor's husband. She's, uh, he's one of the guys who's uh, uh, pledging, I think it's 100 million uh, to do it. That's also in the sun this morning. Uh, top trends in Ireland this morning. Um, well, I didn't mention any of the sports stories there because the top trend is all to do with Champions League. So you had Barcelona and Manchester United in the second leg last night. Disaster for Man United. Uh, lost 3-0 on the night, 4-0 on aggregate. Um, I actually saw none of it because I got home very late last night. And, uh, well, that's not true. I saw the last 10 minutes or so. But by all accounts, the damage was done anyway, and Messi was brilliant last night. So I had said it last week, Barcelona were so bad last Wednesday night in the first leg, it couldn't have possibly been another situation where they'd be that bad again. Plus, they were at home, so disaster for United. But the other uh, big result from last night is Ajax were playing Juventus, and they won away from home. Their captain, who's a teenager, scored the winning goal. They won 2-1. So, cracking night for Ajax. Well done to them. Uh, FAI board is also trending this morning. We mentioned the stories there in the papers. And Paris. So, five years now is what the president, Emmanuel Macron, is, uh, is um, saying it'll take to rebuild Notre Dame. He wants it done within five years. And there's already, this is mental, right? 700 million euro has been raised already and pledged to help the restoration. 700 million. 
So, uh, yeah, that's uh, also one of the top trends there this morning. Westlife were in the papers too today because um, their new tour and their new album means that they could actually end up being way more successful than they were first time round. Uh, they've sold out the um, arena tour. That's done and dusted. And uh, their album uh, went to number one as well. So they reckon they're going to make way more money this time around than they did when they were first as Westlife. Uh, not sure about the numbers there because, I mean, they were around for a long time originally and they had, a, you know, what was it, 10 UK number ones or 11 UK number ones. So um, maybe the numbers are slightly askew there. Maybe it just means for the tour. But anyway, they're going to make a lot of money. That's the, the, the be all and end all. We're two days out from Easter weekend. Obviously, I mentioned the weather's supposed to be fairly decent, especially Saturday where we could hit 20 and 21 and 22 in places. Uh, and uh, also, I'm just looking down through all my other little bits here. And would you believe, lads, not a single mention of Brexit. Unreal, isn't it? Like, there's probably little bits of pages inside the papers, but on all of the main talking points online and on the front pages, no mention of Brexit. So that's kind of a relief as well. Uh, now, before I wrap up the video for this morning, because I'm just going to get coffee and get the show rocking in Studio One, which is up that way. I want to talk about Drake for a second. Not a massive Drake fan. To me, most of his music just sounds like noise. I'm sorry, Drake fans, but it's true. Not all of his music, but most of it. Anyway, Drake has a curse. So you probably heard of this guy, Aaron Ramsey, who plays for Arsenal. He has had this curse in that every time he scores, somebody famous died. Although, he did score last weekend and nobody died. But anyway, uh, somebody famous dies when Aaron Ramsey scores was what the curse was all, all along. There's also a Drake curse. Uh, so let me read this to you. So uh, Roma, the soccer team, have banned all of their players from posing with any photographs with Drake. Uh, so they're not to go meet him. They're not to get a social media post. It's only a tongue-in-cheek thing now. It's only a bit of crack. But they've basically he's been told, lads, go to the concert, do whatever, but do not get in a photograph and put her up online. Because, listen to this, the Drake curse. All of the following things happened from uh, either people who Drake endorsed or got a photograph with, and then they lost. So 2013, the Toronto Raptors, they made Drake their global ambassador. And they ended up getting a reputation for choking in big games. The Kentucky lost college basketball decider versus Wisconsin. Miami Heat smashed 4-1 in the NBA Finals by San Antonio. Serena Williams uh, was uh, beaten um, in the US Open semi-final by Roberta Finch, uh, Vinci. Uh, quarterback Johnny Manziel dropped out of the NFL, having previously been a first-round draft pick. All of these people have been uh, in photographs with Drake. Um, UFC champion Conor McGregor, he lost to Khabib last year after Drake said, oh, I think Conor's going to win. Alabama suffer a big loss to college football rivals Clemson. Jordan Sancho's Dortmund uh, hammered by Bayern Munich. Uh, Aubameyang benched as Arsenal lose to Everton. Aguero missed a penalty as Man City lose to Tottenham in the Champions League. This was last week. And PSG, who are absolutely running away with the French League. It's a terrible league in the sense that they have no rivals. Uh, had their biggest and heaviest defeat in 19 years, losing 5-1 at Lille. All of those people either had a photograph with Drake, went to a Drake concert, or had Drake uh, kind of endorse them in some way to say, oh yeah, I think such and such is going to win, and they all lost. So I'm just saying, listening to his music could be detrimental to your health. I'm going to wrap up. We need to go and stick the kettle on. Uh, busy show coming up. So remember, 330 quid is what Ash is on a skull black pudding. Who's for breakfast is worth. We play that on the show this morning. And your chance to win uh, brunch for two as well at the Ballygarry House Hotel. All coming up. Have a good day. Morning.